Hi, this is part three in my Ubuntu machine on a Windows domain series, and in this video we're going to focus on sudo privileges or sudo access for administrators or any group of your choice. Hi, I'm Matt, welcome to Crazy Logic. So you're the admin and like your domain admin account, you would like to have sudo privileges on your Ubuntu machine should you ever log into it, uh, or sudo privileges I should say. Um, this is quite simple, um, as you've just got to carefully add or modify a file, the sudo as file. Um, but let's jump into AD first and we're going to create a group for Linux admin. So in my users container uh, we have lots of uh, groups, so I am going to add a group and we are going to call that group Linux admins. So uh, we'll leave the group scope as global and it is a security group so we will just say OK to that and then we have our Linux admins and then in terms of members we're going to add our administrator to that group. So the idea of this is you may have um, Linux administrators who are not domain admins so you don't want to add them to your domain admin or domain admins um, group you probably, if they're not in the domain admin, you're not going to want them want to add them to an enterprise admin. Um, so just creating a group called Linux admins seems like a sensible security precaution for your Linux admins group. You also may have Windows uh, admins who you don't want administrating Linux machines. Um, perfectly valid. What we want to do is we want to add that new group, which is our Linux admins group in AD, into our sudo as um, group on the local machine or we want to add them via the sudo as file to have sudo privileges. So to do this you need to have an account that has sudo privileges to enable uh, access to that file. So uh, by default your domain accounts do not have sudo privileges. So we're going to log in as Dave again. So we can add our Linux admins um, group to our sudoers by editing a file. So I'm going to sudo into uh, an application called via sudo, and then we want the file which is in itsy sudoers, uh, and this is the file we want to edit. So um, in here we have some settings or some user accounts that have privileges. So we have our root account, which of course has um, all privileges. And then we have our um, admin group, which is a local group that allows um, users within that group to elevate up to sudo. And then we also have the sudo group. So in here, I'm going to add a line that's a group. If I can spell it correctly. And then below that, I'm going to add the group name, which is Linux admins. Uh, if you have a space in your group name, you need to backslash space, um, which is a pretty normal thing within uh, file names as well. And then we want to give it this privilege section, which is all equals bracket all, colon all, close bracket, tab all. So these spaces between the group name and the privileges um, are tabs, they're not spaces. Uh, this is quite important. And the other thing to note here is we have not put in the fully qualified domain name. So the reason for this is, is because in the previous video we turned it off. So if you haven't turned it off for whatever reason, you would add the line like so. So rather than it just being a uh, just the name of the group, you'd have the group at domain.local. But again, we have turned that off so we can comment out that line. So then you just write out that, that file and now the administrator should have uh, sudo access. So we'll log off and log on as the administrator. So you can see we're now the administrator 
uh, which is a domain account and that domain account is a member of a domain group called Linux admins and we've added that Linux admins into the sudoers file such that we should now have sudo access so let's see if we can actually uh, edit the sudoers file which we can only do if we're sudo privileges so there we go so now I can edit this file as a member of the Linux admins group which we added to that file and that's how you get sudo access for domain accounts so yeah thanks for watching this uh, my next video in this series is going to be to do with access permissions surrounding who can log on to a Linux machine and how you can restrict this probably to another group uh, because that's probably how you would do it in the real world um, so yeah thanks for watching any comments stick them down below and subscribe for more content like this